What's up everyone, Ralph here and welcome back to my channel. In this video, we'll be talking about practical money hacks. Seven things you can buy to save money. Christmas is fast approaching. Despite the pandemic, I know you guys have your own creative ways of celebrating it. Aside from the festive meal that everyone is looking forward to, I am sure you and I are very much excited to receive and give Christmas gifts. You can use these seven things as your Christmas gifts ideas, although everything that I'm going to share to you are available all throughout the year. So let's begin. Number one, online deals. If you guys are not maximizing your internet connection, you are missing a lot. In the past few years, there have been a lot of web-based companies offering variety of deals. From 80% massage deals to 50% restaurant deals, or even discounted hotel staycations, and many more. So next time you're planning to eat out with your friends or get that facial or massage, best to check if there are online deals first. For sure, because of this intense competition among these companies, most likely they have something to offer. If you're staying in Singapore, best to check out these applications for your daily deals. Number two, food processor or blender. Personally, I love fruit smoothies, specifically avocado. I find it very expensive to buy it from mall stalls. For example, a piece of this avocado would cost you around 1.25 Singapore dollars. But if you're going to buy a fruit shake or a fruit smoothies from any of the malls, it will cost you around 4 to 5 dollars or even more. So doing this at home can save you roughly around 75%. Aside from that, you can also control the ingredients. You can make it healthier or you can add protein powders for your own personal preference. Number three, coffee maker or a simple French press. Morning is not complete without coffee. If you guys agree, high five. <laughs> One more. In a study, ages 25 to 34 spends roughly around 2,000 US dollars in buying coffee. So that is about five US dollars or seven Singapore dollars per day. Where 43 to 46% of the respondents say that the primary reason why they are buying coffee is to boost up their energy and stay awake. Even if you are to choose a specific brand like Starbucks, one bag of Starbucks coffee can cost you around 15 Singapore dollars or 11 US dollars. That is good for 10 to 12 cups. That is around 1.5 Singapore dollars or $1 per cup. Comparing that to the daily average, doing that at home can save you more than 75%. Number four, be a plant dad or a plant mom. Nowadays, we see quite a lot of people buying plants, mainly for home decoration. Little do we know, these plants have additional benefit, like improve concentration and productivity, reduces stress level, and boost our mood. Since the love to adapt or grow these plants are there, why not extend the love to the vegetable bearing plants? This may not significantly save us money, but since we take care of them without any use of pesticides and harmful chemicals, this makes it the healthiest vegetables we ever had. Number five, reusable water bottle. Bottled water is a billion dollar industry and one of the most overpriced drinks in the market. For example, in Singapore, 600 ml bottled drinking water usually retails around 0.5 to 1 Singapore dollars. But with the same amount of drinkable tap water, it only costs about 0.1 cent, making the bottled water 500 to 1,000 times more expensive than tap water. So I encourage everyone to use this. Number six, electric fan. During this period, most of us are working from home. And I am sure you notice, guys, how much our electric bills shoot up crazily. For some, maybe the companies that you're working for are covering that electric bill. Lucky for you. But for most of us, I suggest to buy an electric fan if you don't have one and use that instead of your air condition. If you're watching this from Manila, according to Meralco, the cost of running an electric fan per hour is just 57 cents while a 0.5 horsepower air condition is 2.17 pesos. If you're watching this from Singapore, a 10 hours run of floor fan can only cost you around 7.32 cents per month, 
while an air conditioned running for 10 hours per day is about 59 Singapore dollars. So, we therefore conclude in both countries, air conditioned costs a lot. And the last but not the least is facial moisturizer. Disclaimer, I am not a dermatologist or an expert in the field. Hence, what I'm about to share to you are just based from my personal experience. My face has a combination of oily and dry, and I used to have like pimples all over my face. But for some reason, after applying moisturizers on my face, uh, maybe in the morning and the afternoon, I started to see some changes and some improvement. But that only happened when I tried several types of moisturizer. So best to check with your dermatologist and see what is best for your skin type. Maybe if you guys have a better routine or products that you use, uh, feel free to comment down below and let me know what you guys are using. So maybe I can also use those kind of products. So that ends the video. I hope you guys like it. If you like it, please don't forget to like and subscribe and this will really help my channel to grow. And go check out some of my videos and let me know which one you like most. This has been Ralph of Say It Ralph. Until next Sunday.